All right, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about dimensions blur file, demons.xml. And the way you get to it, just go to your app, go to source and drill into your main and resource and values. And there it is, demands, demons.xml. And when you open that up, you will see there's two items there. This comes with Android Studio goes ahead and puts those two in there. Uh, essentially, the dimensions file specifies dimensions to be used in our views. So just like we use strings.xml to specify all text, we can, uh, we can also use dimension file to set all dimensions we might need in one place and then be able to reference from anywhere in our views and code. So as you can see here, uh, what are we doing? We, we creating a daemon tag here. Well, we have a tag and then we have a specified dimension and we giving it a name activity horizontal margin and we specifying the unit of that dimension here in this case 16 dp now dp stands for density independent pixel really we'll always use the dp for anything um, that you try to set dimensions for on android that's the recommendation because it is is pixel independent doesn't matter how big your screen is or how small it always fits and, and makes it look good okay now there's also another one called sp and we will see in a minute which stands for scale independent pixel so you want to use that one for fonts specifically so dp for anything you want to specify the dimensions for and sp for fonts okay so now how do we uh, make our own dimensions very simple so we just go open this tag here and say daemon there you enter and specify a name you can say text dimension and of course you close and then inside here let's say 19 sp because this one is going to be for a text that we're going to specify in a minute here so once we save that let's go ahead and open up our layout folder let's open our the one we created here now let's change to design view here all right so let's go put a small text here let's go back and redo this so what are we going to do we're going to take this medium a b medium text and put it here it's there we could go ahead and change everything from here but let's let's go back to our text here so we can see so this is what we just inserted inside of our screen um, now if you wanted to change the text size so you just go Android semicolon and you see the beauty of an IDE is that gives you all the options but we want to go ahead and say text size you can navigate to text size now to access our dimensions here all you do is you say at d i m e n slash and we named it what do we name it text dimension okay so say text and there it is just hit enter and save if we go back here you can see it changed the it changed uh, the size now to make sure let's make this really big let's like, say 29 save if you go here oh there it is look at that it changed to a bigger font size let's go ahead and change the size of the button not necessarily the font size inside let's go here and specify a different dimension here let's say daemon name we're gonna call button size well size let's say button height it's more specific let's say it's gonna be we want it to be 250 dp because now it's not we're not talking about fonts 
So let's go to our activity layout. And that one, let's go to text. And well, this is our button here. Now we have this saying the height to be wrapped. Let's change this to what we just specified. So at D I M N E slash, we call it button height and save. We go here back to our design here. You see it changed because we specified height to be 250 dp. If we change back, let's say to just 200 and save and go here and you see it's changing. Great, so you now you have the power to go and create your own dimensions and change the size of things and how things look size-wise on the screen. All right, now you notice also here there is another values folder where inside we have dimensions, strings, and styles, but we have this other one that says values WA20DP and has also dimensions. Let's click that. What this is, is the same as the values folders dimensioned here. But the difference here is that this is for different screen sizes of devices. As you know, Android devices come in different sizes, screen sizes. So when we develop applications, um, Android Studio gives us this flexibility of defining different sizes or different dimensions for different Android device sizes. So in this case here, the values WA20DP, you would put all of your specifications for dimensions here to target bigger devices. So screen like tablets or phones that have really big screen sizes. That's all. All right. Good job. So I'll see you in the next video.